<laughs> oh, hello. Oh my god, I didn't see you there. I didn't see anybody there. That's <laughs> wild. All I saw oh, was Oh, hey. Hey. What are you doing in here? Oh, just reading, standing up. I love to read standing up. I do too. Do actually. you want to get married? Yeah, let's get married. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Meg. <laughs> I'm Caleb. And today we're going to do a comic talk. Yes. Um, usually I stream. Well, I've only done one comic, comic talk before, um, but I also do book talks. Usually I stream those, but since I've been doing a lot of Batman stuff off stream, I thought we'd do it for YouTube. And in the future, if you would like to participate, we could do it in a YouTube stream. But uh, I'm yeah. too scared to YouTube stream. I'm not I'm shy. Oh, okay. Well, let us know if you're interested in that. Yeah. But this will be pre-recorded, and I brought my husband Caleb along because I don't really like doing book talks without someone to bounce ideas off of. So. So I'm here, and I read this recently. Yes, anyway, he did. and if you're wondering why we have two copies, <laughs> it isn't because we bought two copies. It's because I wanted a copy, and I I I got too excited. And I went ahead and ordered one. And then the same day that I ordered mm -hmm. one, somebody ordered one for her. And so I went to Why try to cancel look the so order. Tall. I thought I was. Are you that much taller than me? Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. Yeah, I mean, we're in socks right now. Are you serious? Yes. I thought I was like here. Did no. I shrink? No, you didn't shrink. This is how it's always been. That's how That's it's depressing. always depressing. But I. And then I was like, I should just return it. And then uh, it would have cost just as much to return it as it cost to buy it because it's a used copy and I got it yeah. for like eight dollars. So we have two. So we have two. Um. Anyways. But I love this book. Yes, this was really fun. It's a great true crime book, as oh, you yeah. said. It, it it's a great crime story. Like yeah. it feels like it feels like um, I don't know those classic crime novel crime novels crime stories like Scarface yeah. and. And um, uh, what's the one with all the one that I haven't seen? Godfather. Godfather. I've never seen Godfather I've either. Never seen Godfather. I love that we're just talking out our asses because, like, we're like, oh, great crime story. Great crime story. Yeah, I don't... I've never seen it, but I have seen The Dark Knight and the <laughs> Nolan movies, and I guess it's that's... based off this. The, the what's cool about this one is that like so many different Batman Batman movies games. games this this is one of the ones that they draw the most influence from like I, that i could pick up wild on. so when was this written it was written in the 90s oh my gosh i think they like kind of remastered it yeah 1996 and 97. okay by jeff Loeb with art by tim sale well it's very interesting that you say um that sorry just are you thrown off by how tall i am <laughs> i'm just standing it's funny you're kind of going that way so i'm okay. gonna bring you back this okay, way okay this way um it's interesting that someone told me that origins was based off the long halloween i'm not sure if that's true it kind of seems like year two or whatever because in origins arkham origins it was two years since um he started being batman mm -hmm. so i think it's like the same time frame but and it, it takes place around similar. the holiday right Christmas. Yeah, so I guess that they just It's all on Christmas Day. Like maybe they, they just took isolated like, it to, to the Joker and Bane and stuff. And maybe they just took it like they took what happened in, on Christmas in the book and like they were like, Oh, this is the atmosphere. These are all things that could have happened in that time frame. Right. And then they put it maybe they just filled in the blanks between the right. stuff that happens. I don't know. That's true because uh it focused on Joker for the Christmas oh part mm -hmm. and like one of the things i wanted to say was um especially with the games and the shows and the show um the animated series he's not as like freaking <laughs> i don't know if evil is the right word but he made me mad with that part yeah. when he it's christmas and he literally goes to clearly just like a regular family's home and steals their presents like I haven't really seen that side of the Joker yet. I had nightmares about that as a kid. Oh, you read this as a kid? No, I didn't read it as oh. a kid. I just thought somebody would Grinch. come in and just like steal the presents. Isn't that the Grinch? Yeah. 
it was kind of acting like a Grinch, but it was especially rude. And I was like, oh, shoot. But in Origins, he's especially aggressive. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it's it's maybe they evolve. Uh, they evolve together. He and Batman. No. Evolve yeah, together. seriously. I uploaded an episode today where he's just like, I met someone very, very special. I don't know if Batman softens him. I definitely think the Joker Joker hardens Batman mm -hmm. in a way. Um, Ayo. Ayo. Not like that. Oh, sorry. Dang. Um, but yeah, he was he was naughty, naughty in this one. He was. Um, and we didn't actually get to see much of him. No, which was kind of cool because it felt like they could put this easily make a TV series out of it. Mm -hmm. Um, and give every every or a game like actually adapt this specifically, but like give every villain their due and their time and really expand on it and. It felt like I was reading through a TV series, like like Peaky Blinders or yeah. just something that... Yeah, because that... with the gangs. Yeah, and all the twists and stuff. It was just... It was really cool. Um, I didn't... The first note that I wrote before this was, who was Holiday? Because I'm still confused. Yeah. And we talked a bit about it before, but I'm... We can kind of came to the consensus that it's... Three people that it's Harvey, Gilda, and Alberto. Yeah. Right. And, but we don't know exactly which murders were who. We have the it, kind of the time frame, but I don't know if that's intentional because we both were a little. And Alberto's like, I am Holiday. Yeah, and but... he's taking all the blame. But then Harvey's like, there were two. And then Gilda kind of admits it that, she, that he, she assumed he took over like she's just like when i found your gun and you said i bring it home for evidence i thought we we knew like okay he's taking over now so do you think that he knew what gilda was doing and he was just like i'm gonna take over it's hard to determine know. like i just came away reading this and i'm like what? okay it was all three of them but did they plan it all together or did they just bounce off of each other they were like oh no. Oh, like I didn't do this one, yeah. but like, so holiday is, is several people, just like there are several holidays. Like maybe it was somebody different every holiday. I don't know. I literally thought that it was all of the villains working together. I really yeah. did think that. Um, that was, and that's what I know makes a good kind of mystery. It's mm -hmm. just like you really couldn't come up with the end, or it's like kind of obvious because at the beginning I was like, oh, it's Harvey. You know, it's Harvey, but I have a kind of a, I don't know. Like that would you be could too see, easy. I know, exactly. But it was him just with added stuff. And you wouldn't expect Gilda, but like I Gilda, know, what the she hell? was just I like, put, Harvey, come home. I wrote, damn, Gilda, who are you? <laughs> and you know, like Gilda, Gordon and Barbara gave you a lot of support. I feel like Gordon was more betrayed, him and his wife betrayed by gilda and harvey than batman and bruce were like that it, it definitely showed a side that i didn't really consider with harvey like every other iteration which has been like two that i've witnessed has been like harvey is like buds with right with bruce but i don't know because i haven't seen two face and i think they the start out that way like leading up to it because he keeps Bruce keeps referring to him as like Harvey Dent, my friend, my friend. Yeah. And he's obviously grieving a lot mm -hmm. by the end of it because he feels like he's lost his friend. And it's like, okay, was Harvey just too blinded by this idea of like changing Gotham that he just forgot how to be a human and have relationships and that he had friends to care for and a family to care for and... Well, okay. definitely, like, even I'm just kind of going through. This is what this is the picture I was looking for. So that's Gordon and Harvey and Bruce. Mm -hmm. And it's the trifecta, you yeah. know, and what I but first, before I get into that, what I'll say is like, look at that. Like he was slipping. That's I appreciate it's that. Half, yeah. Half. The iteration of Harvey where it's like, oh, my gosh, he's he's slipping way before the acid or the explosion happens, yeah. whatever. Like he's he had that potential in him and 
he saw his dad remember and that's where he got the coin mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and this all happened way before right the acid but then with this picture like or this shot that is recycled <laughs> after harvey becomes two-face oh. they meet again at the end and i finished this more recently than caleb so yeah um oh and after he's down there with solomon grundy yeah do, 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 do. okay i think it's i don't know where it is but i'm gonna find it <laughs> it's oh here so... it is you see whoa and i read this pretty quickly so i remembered that yeah. but it's just like okay now there's four it's not even a trifecta it's four people it is um but it what did i write about it oh he, like he snapped the way they described it when he had the acid in his face was that he snapped but like he's still harvey and he has moments of being harvey like when he's kind of in um black gate it's not arkham asylum yet is it I or arkham know. i don't know black gate prison yeah yeah and he's like all kind of like tied up because that's where that's where uh calendar man is, yeah right? yeah um and he's just saying like gilda gilda so i don't know if he knew gilda did it i don't know if he knew and also like there are some things that are like <laughs> could one person have pulled this off on their own it's just like did they work together how much luck was involved i don't know but um well wasn't catwoman also kind of working with the rest of the villains because yeah. she's and it's cute because she's just like He's like, whose side are you on? And she's like, you know what side? Herself. Like, she will just do what serves her. And it's not like, I don't condone her actions, blah, blah, blah. No, no but it's, come at it's, me. you can respect that because it makes sense. It's just like, she, she's consistent. Doesn't Batman kind of do that too? He was not on the cop's side. Yeah, like he... <laughs> but he, he will work with them sometimes. He works in their comics based on him working with some of the villains. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Like, yeah. I read White Knight recently, but we'll get to that another time i'm sure oh yeah but. for sure this is like i want this printed on our wall look at all oh, the villains but I, I open the page and i'm like hi guys like they're just <laughs> you little psycho and like then you little crazy yeah our little anti-hero yeah over here. she's just like in this case and guess what that was to falcone right that was yeah yeah the, so like the main guy you're trying to take down in this whole thing like is it I don't know. I just like how the villains in Batman are not usually the most evil. It's usually like the sociopaths who don't dress up and have a lot of money and power that are the most evil. And then the ones that dress up are like mentally ill. <laughs> and all of the ones like it, something has happened to every single yeah. one of these villains that like it could, could have gone either way, but it makes sense that they've ended up where they are. Like yeah. Grundy, and and joker with the acid and the yeah i still don't really and... even know jokers but i need to read the killing joke apparently yeah. soon because i don't really know i don't understand his origin story mm -hmm. i do know that he goes into acid but i don't know who throws him there or what yeah we it's over there we i'm have excited it. but then i know that um scarecrow killed his mom right on yeah. mother's day that was yeah. the whole thing mm -hmm. um ivy oh i love ivy's depiction in this this is my like one of my favorite ivies because what is the plant poison ivy it's poison ivy is like um it's like an infestation it takes over completely so i loved her art i loved how the vines kind of like cr you would see them and you could tell that she had been there and this was the first time i saw her get a hold of bruce and it's like once once it gets a hold of you like you just gotta wait through it you just or gotta, you need just gotta you need selena you. yeah <laughs> you need yeah. selena to sorry i don't know what happened i stopped recording oh interesting okay that's good now um yeah but yeah no selena she she literally like took her and she was like you're mine ivy <laughs> I'm like, Ooh, oh. shit. no but she's just like you can't do this like stop because she was working with falcone and it's like, like okay girl home. where she's are your moves <laughs> I don't know. I really, I also really like the animated series depiction of Ivy, but it's so different. 
And that's what I'm really liking about Batman, that there can be so many different iterations. Like, so even uh, Selena, she reminded me of death in Sandman. Sandman. A lot. Mm. I feel mm. like if I put two pictures up, y'all would see. Um, but like I had just read year one and she had the short, dark hair and she's still just as muscular, which I love. But she's got like crazy black hair, and um, her and Bruce are like, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. And she's like prowling. She's like, yeah. It almost feels like every time they meet, she's like hunting him because yeah, she always has the true. upper hand, and she always surprises him. He he usually gets the upper hand on people and surprises the crap out of them. Yeah. But she's the only one that can just be like, boo, and yeah. he's like, ah. Oh. And he's like, how long were you there? Yeah, he's never like, uh, he's just like, how long were you there? <laughs> no. And then she toys with him as Catwoman, too. I'm like, how do you guys not, like, smell each other? How do you not? But that's just something you kind of have to dis, dis, what's it called? Um, Dissociate? Dis, no, dis, no. Dis, 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 dispel. Dis, dispel? Dis, suspend your disbelief. Suspend about. your disbelief. But also, like, I think that just with the costumes, the masks on, people aren't trying to figure it out. I don't think that Catwoman and and Batman as themselves are really looking to solve who the other one is. Mm -hmm. Kind of like when Joker's like, no, in City, I think it was. He's like, don't take off his mask. I like the mystery. Like, unless you're freaking Lex... Well, not even Lex Luthor wants to know who superman is right. i feel like amongst themselves they really like not knowing there's fun <laughs> yeah. in mystery there's yeah there really it. is they are just having a good time uh is... jervis showed up Jar jervis Jarvis? mad hatter oh i don't know much about the mad hatter he was i have to say i love the adaptation in the animated series i think you should watch his episode okay because i feel like everything else kind of shows him as this Labbering, kind of not all there and i i get that for later on mm -hmm. in his character arc because he probably has to stay not all there in order to do what he does but in the animated series they really give him like a full character um and they make you empathize with him but in this Oof. he's just like Saying the the jabber walking. Oh yeah, yeah, lines. yeah. I love that. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. Getting it's just such Bruce. yeah. <laughs> That's good. It's such a good comic. Like I love. I don't know. I love the colors and. And I feel like it's one that it, it just like a good thriller or crime story. It has so many little details. You are mine, Poison Ivy. All mine. And that saying to her, like she's usually the one that's like. You're mine. I have control over you. Mm -hmm. And now no, Catwoman like, flips the frickin' switch. Such a cool image. And I love that her suit shows her muscles and stuff. Um, and I feel like ripped. it wasn't as quite as on the nose with some depictions of Catwoman, where it's like she has the ears, and she's like sexy, and she does, and she has some cats, and she sounds like a cat. It's like no, what is feline? Like what? They really delved into, like, what makes a cat a cat? Like, she serves herself like cats do, but you love her for it, you know? Because cats are very independent. Yeah. Anyways, what were you saying about the crime novel? Oh, it's just, it's one of those stories <laughs> that I feel like every time you read it or watch it, there are just tiny details you'll yeah. be able to pick on. Because there are so many worlds. There's, like, there's the Falcone family. There's, there's Harvey. There's Bruce and his circle. There are all the villains. It's... It's really interesting, and I found the Falcone family. It like, it's it's really tragic because like, there are so many elements of a family and like the desperation to be close to one another. And I feel like, the the head of it all, he he puts on this this mask that's like I have to run the business, I have mm -hmm. to have all this power, and it 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 costs him his entire family. Yeah. And turns his son against him, and it's it just reminded like, me kind of of Loki. Yeah. It's just, it's like, what, what is the cost of having power above everything else? Right. And is it ever worth it? Because I don't think if it is. if it was all about the family, which is very mafia type, like mm -hmm. when you're losing everyone around you, like all of your family. And then at the end, when his son is just based, like Alberto's like, look what I did for you. What, look what I did. And then he's like, 
like, come home, I'll take care of you. Like, just admit to one murder and then, you know, I'll take care of you, son. And he's just like, no. Um, do you know when my birthday is? <laughs> That's what really hurt my heart. And he's like, do you know when my birthday is? And he's like, uh, uh, uh. And he's like, it's on a holiday. Valentine's Day, dude. Yeah. And, and it's, it's like, okay, there we go. It's a reflection on normal parenthood, too, because it's like, what are you... What are you putting in front of your kids? What are you putting in front of your family? Yeah. And is it worth it? Like, if you, your kid wants nothing to do with you, that will literally kill to spite you. It's, yeah, I just found their the, story interesting. Yeah, for around. sure. And then the sister, too. She was really interesting. And she was like the perfect, or like the one who was um, just really trying to be the golden child, you know? And like being kind of the last one left and just doing what he wants and being ordered around. But then she had that affair with Yeah, she Maroney. like loves deeply, yeah. but she... No, right? She yeah. The, I, that was she a huge has, twist. She was like madly in love with... The, with the with, opposite. Yeah. <laughs> the rival. Yeah. It's like Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Shit. And, and I just thought it was cool that she was like... She was the most capable of all of yes, them but then yeah, there are these little the moments like when she comes in with a tie and she's just like i love you dad i got you a present and he's it's like uh, whatever <laughs> yeah <I'm> like, <sighs> i appreciate the gesture yeah she's like this tough badass bitch but then she's so yeah, yeah. like by the way happy father's day and she's been you can tell she's been forced into this like this role like, yeah she is like when nobody else can get the job done she has to get it done but like what about her as a person yeah <laughs> and say what you will about the villains and like those organized groups and then even batman and harvey and um gordon like say what you will about them but there is a lot of value to chosen family he loves batman loves his chosen family he so does. much and i love i especially am in a phase where i love his bond with gordon like i think that they're so sweet and like brothers. it makes me mad though like i did not suspect gilda at all i did think ooh, what if harvey's turning turns her into a villain i'm like ooh. Mm. i was thinking like hmm i wonder if she is a villain and i just don't know and but then to see that she was like killing people because she wanted more time with him i don't know it makes me mad because there are multiple times that gordon and barbara will like take care of her and like talk her through it because they feel so bad for her and they kind of like bring her into their family and support her and it just it breaks my heart for them and like i just feel like gordon needs more he needs a hug like that's he needs a hug. traumatizing he needs a vacation he, he yeah yeah he and he's, he's still a... like working so hard for his kid and trying to like and trying to have special moments with them soon like you yeah. didn't really see that much from harvey it was like the, the further and further down the rabbit hole he went, the less and less you saw him with his family. Like, at the beginning, you saw him more. He didn't have more. a kid, though. No, oh, yeah, oh, they yeah. wanted to have a kid. But and it's that's like, apparently why she killed people. But it's less... Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't I don't really buy Bitch. that motive too much. I know. I'm a little confused. <laughs> <laughs> okay? I mean, yeah, a man wrote it, so I don't know. But... <laughs> yeah, she, well, she wanted time with him. Like, she was like... he. She wanted to decrease his workload by killing, like, off... I, I, I know. It's Maybe like, okay, was sense. this always in, like, were, were you killing people before? How did you pull this off so well? Like, are you a secret agent? Are you, are you, do you work for the CIA? Like, how? And she's just like, I just want to have a kid. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't really buy her character yet, but. No, it was, it was an interesting twist, but I wish they had at least given a little bit more info. Like, yeah, what's your history? What's your background? Do you have a background in like, training for i don't know like self-defense or criminal psych it would be cool if she was like and i guess those like college classes or my minor and this and this and this paid off and of, it's like when we're introduced to natasha in marvel mm -hmm. when she's like an assistant and then all of a sudden she yeah like freaking flips people yeah. on their backs and breaks but then their there's arms. like all of the details of that but there is a sequel to this so i wonder if we'll like yeah, give victory. more information um about her and also the movie we do want to watch the movie together yes but i think that they might change that 
I've heard it's a little different, like the ending. Okay, cool. Cool. I mean, it's been adapted. Like, I'm so excited for you to see the Nolan movies because there are so many little things. And there's even there's even a the intro is an interview with Chris Nolan and um, and David Goyer. And they talk about how like this. It was before they had even filmed Dark Knight Returns. Oh. And they were talking, they were talking, no, it was before they had released Dark Knight. Oh my and God. And they were just talking about all the little things that inspired the Dark Knight. So Batman Begins is before this. Year, yes. It's year one. Yes. Okay. And then Dark Knight, the f- second one? The second one pulls so I think I've from seen this, that. but so does. I didn't see Batman Begins. Dark Knight Returns pulls from this as well, but it also pulls from like Nightfall. Well, and... what's interesting, I won't spoil it too much for you, but Origins, it's like all based, the the main mastermind is Bane. And it's like the coolest, sexiest version. Oh, I've he's seen a of genius. Bane. Bane's a genius. I didn't know that. All I, all I knew was that he took tight or the Titan Venom or whatever, and he seemed like a doofus because he's, his amygdala is like, crazy it's like he's on a bunch of steroids but yeah i I appreciated origins for that because he is really freaking smart he's brilliant and he figures sorry if this is a spoiler no i I mean i've known a lot of he figures out who batman is yeah and then he forgets because of his like his need yeah it's a like a forgetful thing which i think i don't know it's like dr freeze like you see these moments of like humanity yeah. and like brilliance and then they're the villain yeah. gene or whatever kicks in and it's... guess what you see that a little bit with batman too mm-hmm. a oh, little yeah. bit it's just less than them but there are times when he and he even admits that he enjoys beating them up he enjoys breaking their ribs and stuff he is not your cookie cutter superman and don't get me wrong i just watched a superman episode i love superman <laughs> but he's He's just like, so if you have all these villains, I I really feel like Falcone and then these really rich white men who have a lot of power and money, they're like super evil and villain. And then you have the kind of messed up villains who some of them have a lot of trauma. Some of them are just cuckoo and like they can't even stay on the right track to yeah. be super powerful and like... Because some of them are just evil. Like, they're, they're just some of them, I feel evil. like the, the worst villains, the evil, the most Scarecrow. evil ones are, are motivated by power and money, yeah. most of all. And then, like, the best villains, the ones that I, like, enjoy reading about the most are the ones that are, they're trying to to feel something or learn something or prove a point. Yeah, prove a rather point, than, justice. Rather than <laughs> just being, like, as powerful as possible. And mm-hmm. you get a lot of those kinds of villains in Batman. Yeah. It's a lot of just... Well then what what's interesting is Catwoman isn't really that. Like she's not trying to prove a point. Like in year one I loved her adaptation because she was trying to just provide for her and her friend. Like she steals so she can have money. Um well in the animated series she's trying to fund like a wildlife thing. I like I like both of yeah, them. Yeah, and her 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 humanity isn't sacrificed. It's like the same with mm-hmm. it's similar with Poison Ivy too. Like they, there is a goal there, even though it's misguided, there is like a greater goal yeah. to what they do. And I can't, and, I haven't heard of like anything super awful being done by either of them. I mean, I know Poison Ivy murders people and stuff, but like it's like the rich executives who are hoarding wealth yeah. from what I've seen. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't make it right, but there's a lot of in between. And the whole point of that was Batman's in the in between. There's no, he is not a, perfectly good guy i don't even know who a perfectly good guy would be alfred there's a lot of collateral <laughs> damage to what <laughs> like, batman does not like. even gordon because gordon actually does support a corrupt system and he's aware of that he's just trying his freaking best he's a cop yeah like c- cops are not the best and what i like in origins is like batman calls him out on that he's just like so anti-cop and then he just is figuring out how to work with him to do smaller versions of good because if you what you pointed out with these villains is sometimes they're just so wrapped up in trying to prove a point and like 
justice that they end up hurting a lot of people along the way whereas i feel like batman and gordon do more good on a smaller scale because batman's like gotham and then they're <laughs> gordon's like they don't. gotham yeah, yeah and then they mess up like at the end when he's just like dude like <laughs> bro was it worth it like he asked like was it worth it did we do the right thing and gordon's like it was the right thing I don't know if it was worth it. I'll guess, I had, only time will tell. Yeah, That's literally what he says. Like, it was the right thing, but I don't know if it was worth it. Oh, what a good book. It's such a good universe. I'm obsessed. Yeah, with good reason. Batman's I love the that bomb. there's no one perfect. Like, while I love, you know, Superman with his alien powers and stuff, I love that Bruce was not a chosen one. Yes, he was born with a lot of privilege, but he was also born with equal amounts trauma. And that was just so awful and dark to him. And I love that he's a weirdo like us. He's so weird. <laughs> like Such the a nerd. villains. He fits right in with them. Like you could just add him to that picture that I showed mm -hmm. and he could be part of them. He wears fucking bad ears. Yeah, he's a he's, goober. Yes. And I love that because I'm a goober. You're, you look at what you're wearing. I know. I love it. And I love that it says a costumed hero learning he can trust no one. He's wearing a freaking costume. A he is a LARPer. He's LARPing as a bat. What? He's, a, he's our, that's his first. Uh, he's going to murder mystery parties as a bat. <laughs> Who no, did it? He's just like a goofy goober. Coffee yeah, ah. and he's trying his best and I feel like that's all we do and all we can do is just set like a certain morals like mm -hmm. the, I love that he's just like I'm not gonna kill anyone it might not make sense to people if he even goes through that with um oh his dad that's something I will this will be the last thing I say I'm sorry when he finds out that his dad saved Falcone right oh yeah that was a huge and moment. that's what Harvey used but like he was watching through the banister of his dad operating and he didn't if take he any money and mm -hmm. done that oh yeah I and that's huge to grapple with and it's the same when every time Batman saves the Joker and doesn't let him die when he could it's not even like he's actively killing him Batman can just go that's There's what just happens. An oath. But like... it, I know it's the oath, and that's why I love like it's the the doctor's oath of you're not going to turn anyone away or whatever. What is it? The Hippocratic oath. The, yeah, you you like do your best to save everyone. Yeah. and he that's where he gets the no kill rule from. That's I didn't get that. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't get that. So I don't know if that's cool. common knowledge. I kind of knew that his dad was a doctor. But that is so amazing. Like, that's what he took from his dad. And it really makes me think, okay, his dad would be so proud of him. He would be. Even he though he's not be. going in the doctor path. Or He'd like... be terrified for yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. He'd be like, you're an idiot. Please stop. But I respect what you're doing. Oh, my God. And then um, I think it's in the, yeah, it is in this comic when Alfred is just like, I think Batman's talking to him about his dad. And Alfred's just like, yeah, you know, oh, because he, um, Bruce is like, what, I can't help but think what, how it would have been different if my dad didn't save him. And like, you know, just what if, what if, what if I didn't save this person? And then Alfred's just like, yeah, I think he says it to a closed door, but he's like, and sometimes I think about the type of fathering I did and would it be different for you? <laughs> Because that's his dad, you know, like that's his main dad. dad. Alfredo. But he's still so committed to being like the butler. And yeah, stuff. he loves his little butler costume. Yeah, but his butler he gear. doubts himself. Like, did did he set him down this path where he's putting himself in danger, but also doing a lot of good? Any level of love, you, there has to be doubt there. Like, you yeah. cannot love somebody without doubting yourself occasionally and questioning what you're doing if you're not questioning what you're doing if you're not questioning how you love the choices that you've made for the people you love involving the people you love it's not real love yeah and even if you think you did the right thing and i think that's what shows who's a a good person or at least someone who's trying even if you are absolutely convinced you did the right thing if you have those doubts that's okay and that means you're like batman and that means you're like 
um, Batman's dad and Alfred, like, it shows you are trying and you're valid, you know, when you just have those doubts of, like, what if, like, what if I'd done something? Because ultimately, like, these poor guys, you know, Batman save, is saving people. Ultimately, but it, yeah. yeah, ultimately, and just doing what he feels is right in the moment, and that's all we can ask of ourselves. Not like, oh, what's for the greater good? It's like with all these RPGs and video games, too. Like with, <laughs> um, this is a spoiler for Witcher, so go away if you don't. <laughs> but with Siri and like her endings, we don't have the, we're not supposed to have the knowledge in the moment of like, do we want to push Siri to be Empress? But like, all you can do is trust your intuition in the moment and like just let people live the lives they want and love them and learn how to love them. You can't min max life. No. Anyways. You can dress up as a bat, though. <laughs> so. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we should do some uh, something Batman for Halloween. That'd be cool. And then Yuna and Boomy could be in it. Aw, they could be something. the Batarangs. No, they could be like actual. Like one of them could be Scarecrow. And Joker. I'm going to look into that. Anyways, okay. thanks for listening to us blab. This is yeah, honestly thanks. like our conversations that we have even off camera. So It is. It's true. <laughs> it's just recorded. We're just not normally <laughs> reading the same book. So <laughs> it's cool that we yeah. did recently and we're going to do it more often. So. Yes. I think next up is either the sequel or it doesn't matter, but I definitely want to read Killing Joke. Yeah, read Joke. Killing Joke. I'll reread it too. And Dark Victory. I can read Dark Victory. I also read, read Harleen, but I don't even know what I would say. You just loved it. That's just you. That's just a thing for you. No. You should read it. No, I want to read no, it. I'm just saying you read, you read it off. off. You read it for yourself. I don't know yourself. what to say. What? It, was, it made me feel things. Like, it made me tingle. Like, She's what? gay. She's gay. No, Caleb. It's about the fucking romance. It's a I, really good... That's why you need it. to read it. It's like okay. smutty. I love, and it's love. not. It's not like pornographic there goes it's our just... monetization for you too but it's just like it's a really good love story and the depiction i was trying to say depiction but then i realized i was kind of saying dick but the depiction dick picture of... <laughs> dick, a dick how... picture dick exception exception for the dick picture no that's being edited out anyways okay. um um the depiction of the Joker is really cool because it's through her eyes, so he's, like, really hot. I saw. Yeah. He is hot, yeah. Anyways, um, but let us know your thoughts. Let us know what you think, which is the same thing in those two sentences. Yeah. Uh, we love to hear your thoughts. <laughs> love y'all. <No. laughs> thanks for, um, for hanging with us. Yeah, and thanks for getting us to YouTube Partner over here. Yeah, that's wild. Thank so, you for your support and your can... love and your presence. Why are you looking? I can't believe you're that much taller than me. I'm so I, mad right I, now. I've, we've been together almost six years. I'm surprised you don't know this. But like when I look at you, it feels like I'm here. Like the top of my head is here. Right. I feel taller. Like it looks like I should be like here. That's what I feel like. Are you on your with tiptoes my, right now? Yes. With my personality and stuff. Yeah. I'm here. Yay. That's so <laughs> It's okay, you're still the boss. I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs>